So it all started as a joke, a Facebook post calling on people to storm Area 51. This is the military installation made famous by alien enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists that has now led to real questions like how many people are actually going to show up in the Nevada desert next month? Going to check for flights. <laughs> CNN's Nick Watt is live in at Rachel Nevada where the mystery stands to unfold. Nick, great to have you with us. How many people are they expecting and, and how are they preparing for this? Well, they are expecting too many people, frankly. Uh, this county and the next county have already declared states of emergency. The sheriff told me last night they're going to bring in officers from all over the state to try and help out. Just to give you an idea how remote we are, nearest gas station, nearly 50 miles that way, nearest hospital, nearly 100 miles kind of that way. But depending on who you talk to, this is either the middle of absolute nowhere or the most important place on our planet. Storm Area 51, read Matty Roberts' Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. It was completely intended to be a joke. I didn't expect it to go anywhere. <laughs> but it has. It has. It's gone everywhere. Two million people now claim they're coming here September 20th. One recent online survey found 54% of Americans believe the government knows more than they're telling us. That's very apparent by my post. <laughs> Everybody thinks there's something in there. Here's issue number one. Nearest civilization is Rachel, Nevada. Population, 52. Little more than the Little Ailey Inn. Restaurant seating for 40. 10 bedrooms. Part of you must be thinking, okay, this is gonna be great for business. Absolutely. And part is like... It's terrified. <laughs> she's scrambling to arrange enough food, security, and free water for the desert heat. Issue number two, an Air Force spokesperson tells CNN any attempt to illegally access military installations or military training areas is dangerous. And you don't want your parents to have to bury you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> that is a gate into Area 51. Plenty of warning signs, plenty of cameras that are following every single move we make. And we were here less than five minutes and a white pickup truck did just appear as if out of nowhere. As close as I ever need to get to Area 51, I think. Well, Robert sure says the FBI him. has already come a-calling. They knocked on the door, man. They just kind of sat down and chatted with me for a little bit just to see what kind of guy I was, making sure I'm not building pipe bombs in the living room or something. They're now trying to turn this into more of a music festival. I'm trying to advocate against the storming as much as I can. I'm trying, I just want a gathering of all these weirdos in the desert. The CIA tested the U-2 spy plane here back in the 1950s, and many believers believe they also keep captured alien life forms and reverse engineer downed alien craft, starting with the Roswell wreckage in the 40s. Conspiracy theories fueled by this base worker interviewed back in 89. The power source is an antimatter reactor. And suspicious sightings ever since. I've seen a lot of strange things in the sky that you can't really identify. The Air Force claims these 60 secretive square miles are used for earthling aircraft testing. That's it. This esteemed astronomer agrees. So clearly there are aliens out there. I think that that's, that's a pretty strong argument. But we don't have the proof of that, and I don't think that it's stacked up in southern Nevada. Honestly, I don't. Robert's best estimate, 20,000 people will actually show up here in the desert next month, some hoping to find out if there's really anything in there, all dreaming there really is something out there. Now, the people of Rachel, Nevada, live here for a reason. They like their peace and quiet, and they're not really into this whole alien stock idea. I'll read you something from the town's website. They say most residents do not like where this event is going and will respond accordingly. Law enforcement will be overwhelmed, and local residents will step up to protect their property. It could get ugly. Julia? <laughs> I might be there. We'll see. How exciting. Nick, thank you so much for that.